Listen, listen, we got breaking news right now involving the Philadelphia 76ers. Listen, training camp has begun for Philly. It's going down. Now, Tyrese Maxey is, is really, you know, he's on my radar. I, I, I can't lie to you. I am a Nick fan. Uh, listen, the Sixers, to me personally, they are going to be the nemesis. Oftentimes, as Nick fans, and I hope that the Knicks, they are, they could, you know, Nick fans too. But really, I'm speaking to the organization. I hope they could really look at the history. The Knicks, they so caught up in Boston. That's all you hear, Boston. We, they eye to eye with the Celtics, you know. And I think that this is a terrible mistake that's being that's happening, pardon me, in the whole entire NBA, how the Philadelphia 76ers are just completely flo are just flying under the radar. You know, who's to say that the Knicks are better than Philly? You know, Joel Embiid is the ultimate equalizer. He cannot be stopped. He's arguably the best player in the NBA when he wants to be. You know, um, Tyrese Maxey is really taking the next step as a leader on this basketball team. And you hear it from all accounts in Philadelphia right now that Joel Embiid is looking to allow other guys to step up. He's not going to get in the way. He's going to, he's going to fall back and allow the new guys to get comfortable. Um, clearly Tyrese Maxey, they're going to need Tyrese Maxey to up it. You know, he had a good year. Uh, he flew under the radar in my humble opinion last year. I think he slapped a couple people upside the head and shocked them. Uh, Tyrese Maxey won't be smacking nobody upside the head this season. People are going to be ready for him. People are going to know what he's bringing to the table. He's not going to surprise no one, you know. So that's why I'm, I'm letting Sixers fans know that you got to be ready, you know, uh, for what's, what's going to happen this season. And I like how they did get Paul George um, to help out because Maxi, his job is going to be a lot harder this year. Uh, Joe and like I said, he's going to always do his thing. But the key with the Sixers is health. Um, but – Tyrese Maxey taking that leadership role, that vocal leader, I think is good, you know, believe it or not. He's the youngest guy on the team, and he needs to alleviate heat. Paul George is coming here to be the third option. You know, I'm just all the way real with you. Paul George, that's why he came to Philadelphia. He, he's really here to be the third option, and that's crazy. You know, uh, Paul George's talent warrants him really to be the first option. You know, um, but, I mean, it is what it is. Paul George looking for somebody to save him. If you look at Kawhi Leonard, you know, he 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 basically, and I don't want to say that he, he shaded him or anything like that, but he let it be known that Paul George ain't his savior. You know, he, he's gonna be fine with or without him. You understand? So I mean this is this is gonna be a very key, you know, uh situation, you know, in my humble opinion, for um you know, the Charlotte, um, pardon, not the Charlotte Hornets, excuse me, for the Philadelphia 76ers. If you want Hornets content, make sure you subscribe to Flight Sports TV. Uh, but the Sixers, man, um, Nick Nurse, what are we going to see from Nick Nurse this season? Uh, you got a lot, of, a lot of things happening out east. You got Joe Mazzula coming there with a ring. Tom Thibodeau, he basically bulldozed and stuff. You know, and Tibbs basically... I don't want to say he, he he was getting at him last year. That was an epic playoff series between the Knicks and the Sixers. And it was unfortunate that everybody wasn't healthy. The Knicks now, I think they have the defenders. Everybody said, I ain't going to lie. I honestly believe the, the only way the Sixers beat the Knicks is unless Embiid is healthy. I don't believe Paul George is going to um, be in a situation where um, he's just able to go off for 40, you know, every single night. Clearly, his talent, is, he's going to get off. He's going to have 30-plus nights and all that good stuff. Um, and he used to be in the East. That's another thing about Paul George. He was out West, you know, a, a while ago, but he started his career in the Eastern Conference. I just want everybody to remember that. He was, he was the Indiana Pacers' number one option. So he clearly understands the activity level and, the, and what happens out East. Um, it's a different game. It's more, in my opinion, it's more physical. Um, I think the West Coast game is played very fast. Um, I think that these guys are always just trying to run the score up opposed to the Eastern Conference where 
it's a lot more, you know, just buckle down, you know, and I, I like that, uh, in my humble opinion. Um, this is this is a this is a great year for Philadelphia potentially. You know, I think they have surprised some people. Joel Embiid is like he's like to me, honestly, like the ultimate you know buzz kill for all these teams. I think Giannis, you know, if you got Embiid, uh, that he could cause problems for Giannis. Um, the only team that I think is not fair in Embiid is Boston. Um, if you the Knicks, you, you better be concerned. He gave you 50 on one leg. I mean, that, that that right there, that should mean something. That should tell you something. And the Knicks, they, they, they got Carl Anthony Towns, but Carl Anthony Towns and Joel Embiid never liked each other. You understand? So the Knicks rivalry has just gotten that more interesting. Um, the Knicks have the defenders, you know, to defend Maxi, to defend um, all these people. But now let's see if you can do it because you got to understand all, you know, uh, offense is good. good. Offense will be good defense every time, you know. So I, and they got the the better offensive players, in my humble opinion. I, I know the Knicks, they, they got the team, they, they, they got Tibbs, the, 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 the Sixers to me, they have the offensive talent, you know, and being the superstar, uh, Joe, uh, Paul George, uh, uh, in my opinion, the superstar. Um, he has the superstar game, whether he shows it you know, every single night, that's that's a whole other story. But his game warrants, you know, you know, big time superstar status. And um Tyrese Maxey is looking to take that next step coming off of a great playoff. You know, clearly everybody's got, you know, him, they're very high on him. Oh my god, Maxey, Maxey. Now he got he got something to prove this year. And I like the fact that he um is getting vocal. And um, <clears throat> and allowing um, these veterans to take a back seat, and for him to say it's my time now, PG, just relax, I got you, you know, um, and, and vice versa. This team is gonna be loaded, man. I know we caught up in the stars uh, with the Sixers, but they they got pieces. They got um, what, what's my man? Um, they got Gordon coming there. They they signed Martin. Um, I think that. I thought, like I said, they got a nice little squad. They was able to re-sign Kelly Oubre. I think all of these things are going to bowl well. They got Reggie Jackson as well. So they, they're going to match up well with all of the elite teams in the NBA. The only key with them is health. Um, and I'll leave it with that. Tyrese Maxey um, is going to do his thing this year. It's Flight Sports TV. Y'all let me know your thoughts on what do you expect from Tyrese Maxey and the Philadelphia 76ers as – they embark on this epic year. You know, this is going to be a big year for Philly. Um, uh, it's put up a shut up, point blank, period. Uh, it's flight sports. Last time we seen Max, he played in 70 games. He's gotten better every year he's been in here. You know, um, last year he, he put up 25 points per game. Um, he shot 45% from the field, 37 from three. You know, as a rookie, he um, averaged eight points. His second year, 17. Third year, 20. Last year, 25. Lord have mercy. What you think Maxie got average this year? I'm going to leave it at that. It's Flight Sports TV. Peace and love.